higher in the whole draft process? <laughs> uh, I mean, with that, I mean, I wasn't really, I really did, did, didn't care how they rated me, you know, because all I needed was just, just an opportunity. You know, and then once once I get that opportunity, I'm, I'm gonna make make the most of it. You know, and then you know, I'm thankful for the Titans, you know, drafting me. You know, I'm gonna make make the most of it. Was that kind of your message during all that to teams? Yeah. So, hey, you, me, you're gonna get. Here's what you're gonna get. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry if you already answered this, but uh, you know, I was talking to Amani, talking to Coach Booker, mm -hmm. uh, just about uh, Amani's personal goals and their goals for him to step up as a leader, and yep. and he mentioned you by name as somebody that he's really trying to trying to work with, trying to talk to and mentor a little bit yeah. uh, how have you felt like you've come along through his leadership and through coach booker and and their the initiative they've taken to kind of help you out uh, i've came a long way since since the first, first, first day you know really just learning the plays uh the, and like the smaller details are really big in the nfl so i've come to learn that very quickly so uh you know just just talking to him picking his brain he's, he's really helped me out a lot and then, then when we're out, out there together like like today you know we kind of you know going and flowing so you know it's so, so so he's been great to me how do you feel like maybe you've met your expectations since the start of rookie camp bringing it in now to mini camp wait say it again i'm sorry just meeting your own <laughs> expectations that you kind of had for yourself leading into to camps oh uh, right now I, I i think i'm you know on, on the right, right right track you know i started you know i started off slow you know i'm trying to learn everything you know the play playbook got, got kind of hectic but you know it kind of slowed down for me and now, you know, I'm kind of make, making strides. You know, I'm doing well on special teams. You know, I'm doing well on defense. And so now I'm just, you know, trying to ele elevate that every day. Well, you talked about the playbook, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, you talked about the playbook and it takes some yeah. of you a little bit of time, you know, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're a rookie, but um, what do you do to kind of make sure that you're, you're getting that extra help? I mean, are you asking some of the vets? Are you just putting in extra time? Uh, I'm doing all of that, actually. You know, uh, when we're in meetings, I'll, I'll ask Co Coach Book to, to explain something. Uh, when we're at, when we're out here, I will ask Armani or KB, and we really just you know ask them like, cause cause if I don't know know something, I'm pretty sure that they do, cause they've been here a while. So you know, I really just pick pick their brain. Theo, what's the phone call home like every night with family? Cause I know they're asking how you doing out here, right? <laughs> uh, I mean. I don't really do a phone call. I really just pull up to the house. <laughs> so yeah, I really, really just go home, you know, chill with them for a little bit, and then I'll come back, you know, get you ready for the next day. Well, and what's the dinner conversation like then while they're sitting there asking you about your day? I mean, they they do well not not to ask me a whole bunch of questions, you know, because you know after a day like this, I'm kind of tired. But you know, they'll ask me a little bit, then I answer it. Then they'll be like, okay, I'm done asking you questions. <laughs> Did you have to train them about, about that? Because I'm sure from the beginning they were wanting to know every single thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah they did. But you know, but it, but it kind of you know cooled off a little little bit now. Now now they're just happy happy that that I'm actually home because I you know I was away for five five years. So now they just were really happy that, that I'm here. Mookie went yard last night. What do you have to do to be Overton's best professional athlete? <laughs> hey, that's that's a high standard to live up to right there. <laughs> oh, you know, I guess I gotta. I gotta be a Hall of Famer to be like that. <laughs> I mean, Overton's had a good run. I mean, you've got multiple guys playing yep. multiple professional sports. Yep. I mean, what's that been like? Uh, it, it's been great, you know, because uh, Ugo, who play, plays for the Seahawks, I've uh, talked talk to him a lot. Uh, and then his, his experience up there, there's going, is going well. So, you know, we then, then one, once we come home to train, mm -hmm. we're, we're in the same spot training. So, you know, we really just, just talk, you know, and then, then it's great, great to meet up with old, old, old teammates. You talked about catching up out here. Mm -hmm. You're known as a physical player, though. Mm -hmm. Is your best yet to come when the pads come on? Oh, I can't wait for the pads to come on. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> what do the next six weeks look like, kind of, until you get to that point? What What are you trying to do to get ready for to put the pads on? Uh, the main thing is staying in shape, uh, you know, because it's hot out here, you know, and then the best availability, I mean, the best ability is availability. So, you know, so I'm just trying to stay ready and, you know, trying to, you know, keep my, my body up and to really just trying to, you know, stay away, away from being injured. I, but I know injury is going to happen, but I'm, try, I'm just going to try my best to, you know, stay away from that.